Hello everyone. <coughs> now I am going to show how to create a virtual local virtual area network between two virtual machines. So in my system, uh, currently two virtual machines are running. One is Kali Linux and another one is Windows XP. Um, and uh, now I want to create a local area internal network between these two systems and if you want you can uh, add as many systems as you want like you can add a windows server any number of machines and you can have your virtual network between these systems so i am in the kali okay if you want to create a virtual uh, internal network then you are net uh, uh, in, uh, for the network adapter you choose the internal network as the option if you want your um, guest operating system that is this Kali which is running inside the Kali uh, which is running inside the virtual machine to act uh, as one of the machine in the local area network like guest operating system then you choose the bridged adapter okay otherwise you don't want your virtual machine to be part of the network in which the host operating system host means see my host operating system is windows so the windows operating system is in a local area network ip config and this is the ip which it gets from the DHCP server of the local area network similarly if you want to connect to a virtual machine also in the local area network then you choose the bridged adapter you can connect this virtual machine uh, you know guest operating system in the local area network of the host operating system and also at the same time you can access the internet but now for ethical hacking course we have to create lab setup lab environment okay so where we can test our labs we can do scanning we can do uh, attacking penetration testing so for that we need our own virtual uh, lab environment so what we are going to do is going to create a, a virtual local area network so choose this option internal network then after that go to the terminal okay cd slash etc slash network go to this folder in this folder you can find a file called interfaces so you have you have to edit this uh, file so sudo nano interfaces so in this suppose um, now already uh, a static IP has been given to this system through this command iface interface ETS0 inet static suppose you want you don't want to don't want this uh, guest operating system this Kali uh, to be in a internal network you want this as part of the network in which the host operating system is there then what you have to do is you have to remove static and you have to put DHCP and also here you have to put hash command this hash you get the point so uh, now what happens is I made this system to get the IP from the local area network 
in which the host operating system exists and also now i have to change to bridged adapter so it would get the ip from the dhcp server of the local area network in which the host operating system exists so it would get the ip in this series like 10.75 something do you understand okay but now we want to create our own uh, lab environment virtual lab environment local area network between this kali and xp so i want to configure a static ip i don't want the system to get the ip from the dhcp server so what i do is i give the address and net mask subnet mask class c address then i put here static now what happens it would not get the ip from the dhcp server however it would give um, it, however it would utilize this ip address what we have given in this file interface file now control o press the control o enter control x so um, similarly now i go to the xp also in the xp also you configure static ip one okay already i have configured this ip this is a subnet mask so both the ip address in the xp and the kali should be in the same network so the ip address of the kali is 1.10 and this one is 1.20 and uh, after that ensure that they are in the same they are in the internal net sorry we have selected the internal network option okay then uh, if you want uh, then you you can check if config so after editing the file uh, interfaces file suppose if the ip address is not changing then better restart the system restart otherwise no need now already the ip has uh, been changed it's a static IP. Now try to ping ping 192.168.1.20 the XP machine in. So it's not pinging actually. I don't know, both are in the same network, but it's not pinging. So what I let me check this adapter. Uh, so it's in bridged adapter mode. I make it to internal network. Now let me see what's happening. Yeah, now it's pinging. And also from XP, we can ping ping 192.168.1.10. It's pinging. So now we have created a internal network between the XP and the Kali. So what are the benefit, uh, what is the benefit of this uh, uh, internal network between these two machines is that we can, you know, uh, do many lab using this lab setup. For example, um, you can do port scanning, okay, using the Kali uh, and we can have the XP as the target machine. So example, nmap. 192.168.1.20 so nmap is the scanning tool which we would discuss in detail in later lab sessions just now we'll try to understand nmap is a tool which can be used to scan the target system target network so here i am using this tool to scan the xp machine this is nmap okay command space and uh, this is the target system ip address the, our uh, xp okay and uh, we are scanning this so it has uh, given the report it has scanned the target system it says that uh, these three ports are open and this is the mac address and um, okay this is a report so there are different many nmap commands are there like uh, yes yes 
so uh, regarding this nmap tutorial you go to this website ehack.webs.com slash labs and in that lab 4 you can see the nmap tutorial this is the nmap tutorial and this nmap tutorial has the basic concepts i explain the basic concepts and then i give the nmap uh, cheat sheet and then i give all the nmap commands possible for different scenarios so you can practice all these commands using this lab setup i prefer you to add one more virtual machine that is you can add windows server also in this internal network and in the windows server you can have the dns server you can configure dns service ftp service then web service um, uh, so that from the kali, kali when you access the kali can detect uh, these all these services and also from the kali you can scan the network a network or a specific system find the operating system mac address and you can do enumeration and find the user account account details etc okay so um, i think now you would have understood uh, you know the way by which we can interlink to virtual machines okay thank you very much